Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to start going through the January 2021 P2 International A Level at Excel um, paper. And this quest, this paper, you will find the PDF in the playlist of in the description of the playlist, which can be found um, if you click in the description box. And if you click at the end of the video, there will be a, a box here which will take you to the playlist and the description to the place you can find the PDF of this paper okay now question number one is all about what's called the remainder theorem and here we have a function f of x equals x to the power 4 plus ax cubed minus 3x squared plus bx plus c where we know a and b are constants and it tells us when f of x is divided by x plus 1 the remainder is 4 show that a plus b is equal to minus 1. By far the simplest way of solving a problem like this is to basically substitute whatever makes this bracket become 0 into this function and that will give you what the remainder is. So what makes this bracket equal 0? Well we can see what makes this bracket equal 0 is x equals minus 1. If we put x plus 1 equals 0 x equals minus 1. So if I substitute minus 1 inside this function, what should come out is 4 if 4 is the remainder. If x plus 1 was a factor, then the remainder would be 0, and f minus 1 would cause this whole thing to become 0. But it's not a factor because there's a remainder, so the remainder is 4. So if I that means if I substitute minus 1 into this expression, it's going to equal 4. So let's do that. Let's put minus 1 into this. So th what this means is I put minus 1 instead of x. So minus 1 to the power 4 plus a times minus 1 to the power of 3 minus 3 times minus 1 to the power of 2 plus b times minus 1 plus 5 and all of that should give me 4. So remember when you raise something a negative number to a even power it becomes positive. So minus 1 to the power 4 is going to be positive 1 because 1 to the power of 4 is 4 anyway. And a to the times 1 minus 1 to the power of 3, well, that's minus 1 to, to, to an odd power. It's like minus 1 times minus 1 times minus 1. It's going to be negative, so it'll be negative a. Then you've got minus 3 times minus 1 squared. Now, minus 1 squared will become positive 1, but you're multiplying by minus 1, so it stays, uh, sorry, by minus 3, so it becomes minus 3. And you have b times minus 1, which is minus b, plus 5 equals 4. Okay, so now if we simplify this, we've got 1 minus 3, which is minus 2, minus 2 plus 5 is 3. So you have minus a minus b plus 3 equals 4, minus a minus b is equal to 4 minus 3, which is 1. And they want to write it in this form. We've actually got the same thing. If we multiply both sides by minus 1, you'll end up with a plus b equals minus 1, which is what we had to show. Okay, so it's important to show steps when you, they give you what they ask you to show something. You should show the steps quite clearly so that you know you don't lose any marks. All right, so part B, it says when f of x is divided by x minus 2, the remainder is minus 23. Okay, so find the value of a and the value of b. So we have two things here. We have the equation from part 1, which um, we, we found, which was a plus b equals minus 1 and we have the original function so similarly if it's divided by x minus 2 and the remi remainder is minus 23 well what makes x minus 2 become 0 well that's when x equals 2 so if I substitute 2 into the function minus 23 has to come out so I can form another equation now by putting 2 instead of x so 2 to the power 4 plus a times 2 cubed minus 3 times 2 squared plus b times 2 plus 5 that's going to give me minus 23 so I can make another equation in x 2 to the power 4 is 16 2 cubed is 8 so that's 8a 2 squared is 4 so 4 times minus 3 is minus 12 and plus 2b plus 5 equals minus 23 so I'm left with 16 minus 12 which is 4 4 plus 5 which is 9 so I've got 8a plus 2b plus 9 equals minus 23. I've got to take away 9 from both sides. So I've got 8a plus 2b equals minus 23 plus 9. 
uh, which is minus, uh, sorry, minus 9, sorry, which is minus 32, minus 23, minus another 9 is minus 32. Um, I can see here that I can divide everything by 2 to make it simpler. I've got 4a plus b equals minus 16. And now I have two equations. One equation from the first is a plus b equals minus 1. That's one equation. And the second equation is 4a plus b is equal to minus 16. Now I can eliminate the b's. I can use substitution, I can use elimination, I'll, I'll use elimination, I'll do equation 2, take away equation 1, okay, that will give me a positive A term, 4A minus A is 3A, minus 16 minus minus 1 is minus 15, so A is going to be minus 15 over 3, so A is minus 5, so that's the value of A, and then we can find B, we know that A plus B equals minus 1, so B equals minus 1 minus A, which is minus 1 minus minus 5, which is minus 1 plus 5, which is 4. So we have A is minus 5 and B is 4. What does the question tell us to do? It just tells us to find the values of A and B. All right, we don't have to write this again with A and B in it. Just find the values of A and B, and we're done. And that's the end of question number 1, part A and B, from this January 2021 paper. Um, as I mentioned, other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist, which will be in this link over here and in that same playlist in the description you'll find the pdf of this paper other questions from this topic of the factor theorem can be found in the playlist that should appear over here you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link and a different p2 paper um, will be linked to and the card that was been appearing from the beginning of the video time to time at the top thank you for watching and see you soon